Welcome back to Paradise Farm. Today, we have a very busy day. We have lots going on, so let's go ahead, jump in here, get this started and warming up, open up the gate, tell you some of the things we have going on. First, um, we're going to take care of uh, many jobs around the farm. We have quite a few to take care of today. We have a couple contracts to take care of. Um, silage, I believe they are. We have some honey over here that's going to get picked up and sold, which is always good when you're selling something. I don't see Max coming yet, but yep, no need to wait for him. He knows, he knows the drill, so let's get done. And the big news of the day, of course, is we have some sheep coming to the farm. <laughs> we are going to have sheep coming to the farm. I'm going to say that again over and over and over. I keep saying it. It's it's unbelievable. So, but before we can have sheep coming, we need to fertilize the grass field. Um, and so we're going to go and get hooked up for that. And then once that job is done, We'll probably, uh, well, we're going to kind of try to play it a little loose because I don't know when the sheep are going to get delivered. I was told that uh, I'd get a phone call or Sarah would get a call. She's off today, so she'll be on the farm all day, um, which is going to be a big help because once the sheep do get here, um, they'll need to be um, looked at. And, oh, look, I see Max. Let's go down and... Let's go, uh, let's go say hi, let's go say hi to Max and see, uh, what he's up to. Alright, there he is. Hey, Max. Alright, let me just get out of Max's way. Yeah, he's doing good. Um, I told him the exciting news, of course, about the sheep, and he told me that, uh, he will be able to sell the wool. Um, he knows a place that will take the wool and turn it into cloth. So that's that's good to know. It's another income stream there, possibly, thanks to Max. Um, why don't we go ahead and start this fertilizing. And I'll see you when we're all done. Okay, good job. Fert is done, got good coverage. Don't feel like I wasted a whole lot. Um, let's go park up. And I think the next job we're gonna do is we're gonna get the uh, sheep pen. We're gonna go ahead and up, get the sheep pen ready and get some food out there, move some bales inside the pen. Um, All those types of um, types of things that they're gonna need. Make sure the water is working. But before we go up there, you know what? Chickens. Food looks good. We have enough food in here. I don't see warming light is working. So chickens look good. I'm always worried. Make you know with them roaming free, it's a little scary. Might lose some or run run over. But yeah, chickens are going all right. But Back to uh, the sheep. Yeah, I want to get the make sure the water is all working, um, so that water 
make sure they have food and that it's all ready for them so we will uh, drive on up there and crack on so see right click that they just run right at you sometime um, I think they're faster than I am so we have 10 sheep coming today for sure and then when they come the animal dealer will let me know if I have if there's an opportunity for more at the same price to come tomorrow uh, or however that timing works but if there's an opportunity to get 10 more I don't know how many I'm ready for but I think I can handle you know 20 or 30 if need be we'll see it, it it'll make the farm here feel more like a farm having livestock and whatnot it's always making paradise better and that's that's our goal now it's great having Sarah on hand because she'll be able to tag them register them um, look them over make sure they're healthy and if they're not healthy know what to do um, with them and whatnot so that that's a plus now you know I've been thinking like that's beyond like I know when she came here she said that she'd be willing to help out with the animals and use her her knowledge to take care of them as part of staying here um, I don't know if she I don't know if she thought that all the way through and how much work that would be so I think for now I'm just going to keep the contract as is but if it starts to seem like it's taxing or she's getting stressed um, I, I, I might lower her rent a little or maybe I don't know change up something to help pay her maybe give her a small salary maybe keep the rent the same but give her a small salary um, for tax purposes that might be the right thing to do as a business I don't know all the tax codes and laws and stuff like that so I'll have to rely on my my accountant but yeah um, end of day I just want to make sure these animals are well taken care of and the people who do take care of the animals are taken care of as well so make sure those things are right we're gonna go ahead and uh, get the rest of these bales stored in here uh, I think keeping them close by will be easier than not having them close by I know I have a bunch of hay up in in the, the, sh the sh um, shed up barn second part of the barn and that's fine for major storage but for like the first you know food this is a great spot to keep it unless it gets in the way of the sheep or the sheep start eat, noticing it and eating it then I may have to move it but we'll see we'll see and this old guy you know I thought this would work pretty well I might need to find me a telly it doesn't turn as sharply as I like tellies are pricey can't afford it might have to add it to the hey find me something used list um, but for now I guess this will have to do this will have to do I think these last two bales we're gonna go through and take them a different way make sure this gate works this is where the dealer will be dropping them off and getting, letting them out into the pen it's a pretty good size it, I think we can probably fit you know 80 to 100 80 to 100 sheep in here safely with plenty of room All right, job is complete. So we'll just hose off and uh, probably put this this guy away 
I do like this tractor, don't get me wrong. Um, just doesn't steer the best. But yeah, it, it's it's a good it's a good tractor. When all things are said and done for its age. Yeah, pretty old. Lots of hours on it. Next job today I think will have to be um since I haven't gotten called. Maybe Sarah has a call. Checking with Sarah, but I think the next job for the day will have to be um, starting to work on those contracts so we can get those contracts knocked out here relatively quick. Um, they're just silage jobs from what I remember. I'll have to double check the invoices. The, um, two contracts, two different people. One is a new customer, one's a returning customer. So. We'll talk about it once we're inside. So here we go. Um, we have the two invoices. Uh, first one is Linda Stone. She is who I bought the UTV from. Um, her family moved. She wants uh, her field road bailed, mowed, wrapped, and then delivered to the biodiesel and then carol called up again and said they have another little subdivision that needs mowing um well planned subdivision uh fields eight and twenty uh, and again animal dealer biodiesel plant all silage it shouldn't be very difficult of a job it'll just be remembering how much needs to go to the silage or to the biodiesel and how much needs to go to the animal dealer and if i could you know who knows when i deliver up to the animal dealer maybe i'll see them loading up the sheep or not i don't know it's an exciting day though just think by the end of today we will have sheep on this farm and my that's exciting um but yeah so back to these contracts as you can see they're paying okay um with maintenance on the on the equipment and gas and usage and all of that it, it turned it comes out to be a fairly pretty good reimbursement um still not as high as i'd like but yeah we're, we're, we're getting there so i'm gonna go ahead and check in with sarah see if she's got any calls and then i'll probably change quickly and then head out to the job site see you there okay Sarah had spoke with Sarah, no calls. Um, speaking of sell, look at all these melons we've already harvested. Holy cow, quite a few. So I forgot to ask Max when I saw him if he knows anything who wants anybody or any businesses want to buy melons. So I'll probably give him a ring later. But uh, for now, job at hand. We need to knock out these contracts. So we're gonna go and jump in the big the big mower and grab the baler. And we'll be on our way. Hopefully uh, all the fixes hold true. We won't have any problems and uh, we'll get these contracts done. We'll get some more money that we can use to buy sheep or if the Audrey ever finds that that cedar that we need um yeah and maybe start storing saving a little increase that savings that's always a plus so we have to fuel up um we're a little low on fuel Luckily, we have, as I showed off before, a diesel tank right there. So we'll fill it up, and then we will get on the road to... Um, I, I think we're going to do uh, Carol's work first, and then work our way back over. So, yeah, this, this guy, we, we have about a half tank. We're gonna fill it all the way up. It takes, it holds a lot, a lot of diesel. Um, 
that's okay. It's part of the job. That's why we bill for expenses like that. So let's hop in and let's get on our way. This job shouldn't be too tricky. Um, the baler works really fast. The mower works pretty well. <clears throat> At least it did mowing yesterday for us. Quickly close up these doors, keep it clean, keep it looking nice and neat. So yeah, um, so these should go all right. Travel is the, you know, more travel. One of the things I'd like to also start saving for is something that I could, some sort of trailer that I could hold this gear on so that I wouldn't have to drive the, the 90M, the M90 on roads and I could just like semi-trailer it there for a Uh, that drive was tough. So here we are. Um, first field here, as you can see, it's river from property again. I understand why. But Carol, or her company, bought it. I'm going to go ahead and crack on and knock this job out. Okay, this field is done. Let's head off to our next field. Uh, more silage should go just as well. I didn't hear any noises or screeching or loose belt sounding things, so all good in the neighborhood, as they say. Um, yep, let's crack on. Here we are. Oh, it's another picturesque area. More water. They got a lot of the waterfront, didn't they? See what they're trying to do is maximize the value. That, that makes sense. Um, but you have to then have a market for people. You can afford higher premiums. Usually you want to 
companies try to do a good mix of all different level. But who am I to say? It's not my business. I'm going to go ahead here and uh, crack on this field and talk to you when we're done. You know, this field is pretty small. Uh, got a few bales to uh, deliver, but all in all, pretty easy mull. I guess we'll have to head up to the final job for Linda on the stone her field. Kind of cross town a little bit. Head there now, and we shall. Uh, do her field shouldn't be too bad either. Here we are. It's not too bad of an area here. Not too hard to get to. So we're gonna go up here. I think it's this field right up here, and we will mow it out for her. do a good job so maybe we can get more work from her uh, that's the goal right always do good work so that people come back to you when they need you so we will knock this one out and I will talk to y'all later Job done. I don't think I missed any bits. I got a good number of bales. So I think I think the Stone family will be happy and we will be asked to do other fields in the future, I hope. We'll see. Time will tell. I know there's probably other people bidding for the jobs as well. So hopefully my the quality and the flexibility stands out to Linda but we're gonna head back um, get this wa get this kit washed up and then we'll have to go collect those bales I haven't gotten a phone call yet uh, I gave Sarah a call she hasn't heard anything yet so 
We'll see you back at the farm. got back going to like I said wash up the kit um, then we'll probably jump in the Ford grab the bale wagon and uh, get the bales delivered so three contracts almost done just gonna wash up real fast what a day what a day so, pretty money. Look how dirty we get. You know you worked hard when your gear gets... When your gear gets all filthy and dirty. But on a farm it should. It makes sense. But... It always looks nice to have clean, clean gear. Hopefully the sheep are here soon. Oh wait, what is that? See the delivery trucks. I wonder if Sarah... Got the call and told him to come back up here. I haven't seen her. All right, let's go shut this off. And uh, let's go meet up with the driver. And get him in position to drop off the sheep. Be back in a bit. Driver's heading out. We have our ten sheep. It is... Come check this out. There's one. Oh, look at these guys. Just kind of not sure what to do, getting used to their new habitat. Sarah's out working with them, tagging them, registering them. Um, give them a look over, sort of a physical. I'm going to crack on, though. I got to get this put away, finish cleaning this up. Lots of work to get done. I'm going to stay out of her way. I said it's probably best if I stay out of her way. She'll call me if there's any problems. Um, she's got all of the paperwork on what um, shots they've had and what they need. But all in all, <laughs> we have sheep on the farm. Only 10. Now, the driver didn't know anything about more sheep or not. Said I should probably give a call to the animal, to, to the head, to the dealer there. Um... So that's probably what I'll do. Let's go ahead and head up and get the bales. Uh, probably going to just cut out the video. Um, I filmed quite a bit already today. And I'll see you when this job is done. And we will uh, meet some sheep, I hope. So we'll see you, uh, see you in a bit. Bales have been delivered. We're back. Let's kind of close things up a little. I heard a sheep. Did you hear that? Oh, what an exciting noise. We have farm noises on Paradise Farm. That is, it's wonderful. It's chickens chickens look good chicken feed is good probably need to probably talk to the farmer and see like how much leeway do I need for barley deliveries for the chicken food um, maybe get set up on some sort of like quarter like we don't have a lot of chicken yet so all right let's go ahead and drive drive up to the sheep pen I'm tired Moving those bales are hard work. Um, strapping them down, getting just—it's a lot of work. So let's go ahead, drive on up, check things out a little bit, do a quick once over, make sure everything looks in place. Only now, if we had cows grazing in these uh, pastures here, but I don't think we're gonna have cows anytime soon. Um, our one little field, I don't think, can support cows and um, 
cheap. I mean, we can take a look at our stock. I mean, we have some straw. We don't have a means to get you know, a lot of straw, which cows need for both TMR and, you know, bedding. We do have quite a bit of silage, but I'm planning on selling that silage, I think, and maybe using the proceeds to try to buy another grass field just so we can get enough hay for both the sheep and cows and generating the silage for the cows. I mean, that's my plan right now. Hopefully, that'll work out. I don't know of too like I'd like the grass to be close by. I'll take any field. Like I've even thinking about you know offering up to uh, Carol, Carol or Linda buying some of their land if I can't find anything around here by me. Uh, but yeah, who knows where we're gonna end up? So, All right, let's go ahead and hang out by the sheep for a little bit. So here we are. Look at that. Some of them are laying down. Sarah told me the sheep are all doing all right. All the things checked out. Look at them grazing. It's wonderful. All right. I'm going to go clean up, and then I will meet you back here. Once I'm cleaned up, I'll meet you back here. Have a wrap-up talk. See you in a bit. Alright, took a shower, ate some dinner. Um, Sarah, huh, I found time to cook. It was amazing. So, here we look at these sheep. Listen to them talk. It's, it's amazing. Sun is setting. Paradise looks beautiful. It truly is starting to become more and more a paradise. Still a lot to do, though. I mean, we still only have one field. We don't have any cows. We don't have any crops growing. Like, there's still a lot we have to do, but just another milestone of having some sheep. It's wonderful. Yeah, so today we nailed those contracts, um, called everyone, called the animal dealer. We should be getting more sheep in... A day or so, they said, same price, same deal, I, all day long. Let's let's get a few more. Talk to Max about the melons. He said he can look around some of his places for me and let me know. And what else? Tomorrow's going to be another great day, I think. Hopefully, we'll get a couple more contracts and more sheep. But with that... I think I'm going to just shut up and look over the sheep. So I'm going to bid goodbye, and thank you for spending the day in paradise with me.